I have received a lot of comments stating that Tom Green had passed in prison. Let's cover that information, but first let's catch everybody up. This is Tom Green, his many young, super young wives. I covered a documentary about them, but let's get on what happened to his prison time and his passing. In 2001, Tom Green was in fact convicted for bigamy and non-support. Essentially, he got caught and charged for marrying his wives, then divorcing them in order to receive assistance. The following year, he was also convicted for marrying his first wife, Linda, under age at the age of 13, and that was under child not good stuff doings. Now, with all that, Tom served from 2001 to 2007 in prison. That was it. Of everything that he actually did do, he served six years. But then when he got out, he was a hero in the polygamous community and he was going around and giving public speeches. Let's, let's hear a little take of something he said. He'll just plead guilty to bigamy. We'll drop the child rape charges and that's because I married Linda before I should have. If I had been, if I had been smart, I would have. Uh... <laughs> you said that. You should have married you right when you did. <laughs> No, uh, what I should have done is either taken her to, to uh, New Hampshire where I could have got a license for her or waited four months and got a license in Utah. I just was really careless and reckless and foolish. But Linda's been, I was dumb, but Linda has been an awesome wife for how many years, Linda? 32 years. 32 years, yeah. There is so much wrong in this. Like he couldn't wait four months. And the fact waiting four months till she's 14 doesn't even make it any better when you're in your 30s. That's so still all kind of gross. He learned no lessons here at all whatsoever. And the whole point of them stating we're still together after 32 years is because the polygamous community justifies it and say, but they're together forever. It's like, yeah, the first 13 years of her life were literally grooming to be in a marriage like this. And she's continuously taught that in order for her to go to some kingdom, that she has to be in this marriage and that she has to be happy with it. There's so many things behind the scenes that happen with these polygamous marriages with these underage girls that when they say that they're outwardly happy, I'm not buying it. 